Karthik. I welcome you all for the session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to create a table in Microsoft Access. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to create a table in Microsoft Access. In order to achieve the task, we should open Microsoft Access. How to open Microsoft Access? Go to Start. Look for the alphabet A. So under A, where you can see Access. Once again, I repeat the steps. Go to Start and look for the alphabet E. Under E, you'll be having access. Just click on the access icon in order to open it. When you click on access icon, it will take you to a view called as Backstage View, where you can see two types of databases. One is blank desktop database. Other one is a custom web. This is for web applications and this is for desktop. Today, we are going to use blank uh, desktop database just click blank desktop database in order to open it when you click on the blank desktop database it will generate a pop-up window where you want to give the file name sorry the database name and this is an icon if you wish to change the location default location you are allowed to do so or else just leave it and change the database name let us say db underscore student and then click on create when you click on create it will take you to an IDE where you can see home create external data database tools fields and table tabs are there and this one is called as a view pan and this is a workspace now by default it will create a table one so why a uh, database is a collection of tables so by default it will create a table one now in order to design the table one we want to navigate to design view. how to navigate to design view just right click the table and navigate to design view once again I repeat the step just right click on the table and navigate to design view when you click on navigate it will First, you want to save the table. Let us say ASD student and click OK in order to save it. So now you are in design view where you can see the field names, data types, and descriptions. So, field name under this name, we are going to save the data. So, data type, what type of data it is? For example, it may be a short text, long text. Uh, number, date and time, or currency, or auto number, or you're going to say yes or no, or objects, or OLEDB objects, or hyperlink, attachment, calculator, look of wizard. These are the data types available in Access. So first, now I'm going to design. The first one will be S underscore ID, where you can see a key right here. This is called as primary key, which will allow you to enter unique value so uh, we just used to avoid redundancy or duplicate values so I'm going to use short text because uh, the field size will be 255 and next one is as underscore name will be long text so what is the difference between short text and long text which will allow up to 255 characters this one up to 1 GB or 65,000 characters and next one followed by s yes, underscore D O J is a date of joining I'm going to use let us say date and time and followed by the next field name will be s yes, underscore course so it will be a lookup wizard because I'm going to have three options UG, PG, and PhD. So just click on Lookup Wizard in order to open it. So when you click on Lookup Wizard, it will take you to a wizard guided menu where you'll be having two options. First option, if you wish to select the value from another table, you can use the first option. Second option, if you wish to type the values, use the second option. Today I'm going to type the value, so I'm, I'll be using the second option and just click next. Now type your options. First I'm going to say select and then followed by UG 
followed by P G and followed by P H D and click next and here you want to give a name in order to save it and finish and next one is S underscore fees so now this will be the calculated we are going to calculate it so here I'm going to use if condition so if so expression will be S underscore course okay so what I'm going to do is equal to UG I'm going to check the option selected is UG if it is so I'm going to say it will be like five thousand dollars okay or else if the condition fails so close it again I'm going for one more if condition so here again yes under score course equal to PG if it is so I am going to say it will be seven thousand dollars close it and again if condition fails again I'm going for one more if and then I'm going to check yes underscore course is equal to PHD if it is so I'm going to say it is nine thousand dollars then close it or else zero and check all these syntax is right you have closed good 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 and click ok so now you can see the calculator the formula will be right here and just click the close button in order to close it and save it now just double click the student table now we want to enter the values let us say EA 101 let us say the student name will be Kafik so let us say date of time will be like any date and course if I select UG automatically fees will be generated right here and now we do not do let us say Yogesh and they say 10 and this is for PG see the fees will be automatically generated and A3 let us say Roshini and select a date and select the course and again A104 let us say sign and select a date and select the course if I select select C it is coming to zero so please try to select UG so in this way you want to use the calculated column I think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you